Like, yeah, man. So I see you got a track with with uh, hey, Dolo and Sunday. Nah, and I like that motherfucker. I ain't gonna oh lie. yeah, you that old boy. Hey, did, like he came up with that hook. Yeah, actually, it was a song he threw away. And you said, hey, right, let me get that. Yeah, yeah. Right. with the mob. Bloody young niggas at large. Why not see my young niggas in charge? Why you in G? That's a life way of dead at a high where you play and you probably see stars. Well, I probably see bars. Shots at the time. Hey, man, see. what it do? It's your boy, LOL Nick, and I got my brother, Deep Pete 501. And we are the, the Pay Thoughts Podcast. Podcast, man. And we back with another one. Come on. Man, DP, brother, we back. What's now, going on with you, bro? Man, same shit, different toilet. Goddamn, uh, man, you know, I ain't do shit for my birthday. I didn't do shit, I man. seen you on Snapchat and shit. I said, this nigga by himself, goddamn me, last night fucking around. No, no, I ain't had no pussy, none of that. Fucking Dang, around. Just, stood I was tired, hoes up. nigga, I was tired, nigga. You stood the hoes up, my motherfucker was calling. Uh, <laughs> Motherfucker was calling. <laughs> Motherfucker was calling, but I was too tired. I man. already but knew shit, it. It is what it is. When you get this old, it's like, fucking, I'm only 23. But, uh, man, today, man, we got a special guest in the motherfucking building, man. When I say, uh, I, I'm late to the party like a motherfucker, man. But, hey, man, me doing my little, you know, one, two Wikipedia thing. Hey, the man got... He, nigga been doing this thing, you the know what I'm saying? The Arkansas boss. You know what I'm saying? Nigga really been moving and grooving, shaking and baking, goddamn me. And you know what I'm saying? My nigga got some hits out here, and he really making it, making it, making Arkansas look good on a, on a, you know what I'm saying? On some real shit. So shit, DP, who we got in this motherfucker, man? You got my nigga Rod D, the boss. Yes, sir. What's happening? You know what I'm saying, what's what's man? You boy Rod D, 870, representative 501, all over. You know what I'm saying? 479, I That's represent dope. the whole. I was about to say, but we always forget about them motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> man, you know, I, I represent the whole state, man. I've been doing it. Psh, my first project came out of 99, bro. I say, let you know. I say, let you know how I've been in. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was part, uh, part affiliated with the Screwed Up Click. Got mm -hmm. songs with DJ Screw, man. I got songs from DJ Screw all the way up to the new school. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Gates, Mo Three, everybody, bro. I done work with some of the some of the best. Money Bag, everybody. Money Man. For all the people who don't know where you're from, Dizzle, oh. let them know where you're from. First man. off, I'm from Rock Island. From you the know, pound. I'm from Rock Island, Adelaide, Arkansas. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yes, so uh, that, that's what I represent. And you know, everybody, a lot of people be like, man, where is that? You know what I'm saying? There's people in Arkansas don't even know where Adelaide is. Right. But there's a baby Little Rock. Don't go down there playing. Sure, right. <laughs> See, I know because I got I got family from I, I down there. I just went down there last night. It was a shootout. Somebody got shot at a party. We was at. Like, bro, it's always a shootout. It's always, it's, it's, it's bad. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's bad everywhere, though. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. how it is. I oh, mean. So, Dizzle. You used to be a DJ or you throw parties or what What was it when you first started off in the music? Um, I'm going to tell you how I actually got started because a lot of people um, asked me that question. I actually was in high school and we was having, they was having parties at this place called the Tech House. It was downtown. And, um, you know, every, after every football game, they would have a party and we would go to it, man, just for a second. But it wasn't for us. If you know what I mean, it was it, it wasn't for us. It wasn't for the black people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We get in there, we hang out for a second. And then I like, you know what, man? I need to throw my own shit. You know what I'm saying? So my auntie, I ended up talking to my auntie into going to rent the building at the yeah. at the uh fur ground. And that's basically how I got started. You know what I'm saying? I just started throwing my own parties after the football games, and then I went to throwing concerts and you know, that's major. That's really how I started getting a lot of the artists that's on my project. I would book them and I would get a verse from them after the show. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I really got really known in the industry. A lot of people, like my boy Nick was saying, a lot of people be sleep on a lot of stuff that I've done. Like before a lot of people was even doing this, bro. I've been doing it for a long time, but I just, I'm just not no friendly ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't sit up and be cool with niggas, hang. I just don't do that. I don't do all that fake shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I, I just don't do it. Right. And I feel like I would be further 
in the music industry if I was that type of person. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm a lot standoffish. You know what I'm saying? So I'm cool with just getting my money and chilling. You See, know what I'm I saying? Know, I know the music just because... I got people from El Dorado, right, so right. you know I the L Dog Hogs. I remember the L Dog Hogs, and album. you was on the road, you know with what I'm saying, and just been on the road <laughs> with you. You know what I'm saying? So I know about the music and the grind. So how the hell it was it like working with DJ Screw and Kiki and all them niggas? Like, cause we from the south, we grew up on that type of music. Right. They're like them legends to us. Me oh, and Nick, really? we always be talking about like he from Forest City, so we got. Similar music taste, but we got different music tastes just because, you know, Lil Rock and Down South, my family yeah. from El Dorado, it's closer to Texas. I couldn't, I couldn't get into it's Lil Rock music Texas. back then because it was too much triple six. You see, I that's what he, you see six. he from Forest City. They close to Memphis. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. They, they triple six, they, they, they all yeah, that Memphis yeah. shit. Oh, when, we bump that. At, when we bumping music, you can pretty much tell because, nigga, when we bumping music, I'm 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 bumping all the young Memphis nigga from Casino Jizzle. Yeah. God damn me, the cash out. Boy, niggas don't nigga. know shit about every every like you know what I'm saying. All the young niggas, uh, uh, little me go. I'm bumping everything damn near Memphis. Right, we get yeah. down here. This nigga really bumping little rock niggas. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he bumping little rock niggas or Louisiana. Right, you know what I'm saying. So nigga, like, I just like nigga, just like nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I felt some kind of way when Player Five came and they booed my nigga all the time. <laughs> I really wanted to come shoot that bitch up. I'm like, hold on, man. Y'all go, y'all disrespect Fly, nigga. I, I know, like, a legend. Man, I'm talking, and I understand it because them niggas was younger. We right. so they don't, they don't really know I be in, I, they ain't really on that type of shit, but it's just like, damn, that's Fly, y'all chill the fuck out. Yeah. But, man, it is what it is, man. But you yeah, just working with Screw now, bro. How was that? Man, it, it was like working with one of your homeboys, to be honest. I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I was starstruck because I was real, real young when I met them. I probably about 17, moving around. So when I when I met him, uh, I'm gonna tell you a funny story about Screw. So we in there, I, we done paid him, I forgot, was it like $3,000, $3,000 or $4,000? And all he did was talk on the, on, the, on the record. He didn't, he don't rap, he don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Bro, don't you know it took him about two, three hours just to write a couple lines? Bro fell asleep in there, and oh, we gotta pay for this studio time. That oh, shit was drink. high back then. You know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> you know it wasn't no, it wasn't no computers and stuff. Right. And we were they, we recording on ADATs and stuff like that. So and we in Uptown Studios in Houston, and bro fell asleep. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, hey man, y'all ain't gonna wake this nigga up. This I'm our like, studio time. Like, this, this time going up. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? We paying him three, four thousand dollars then. Hell, we paying these people for him to take a nap in here, and they cool <laughs> with it. You know what I'm saying? Cause they already know how he is. You know that, bro. Them boys were drinking syrup for real. They, yeah. Were, like people around here think they, nah, they were drinking syrup for real. They were muddy, muddy. I be like, telling for real. people all the time. That was my first time drinking syrup. I come down to El Dorado, fucking with my family and them down there. Shit, it's like a little Texas shit. Yeah. And uh, Hawk man, Hawk was like really one of the main ones who put me in down there like that. I used to be with Hawk a lot. And um, I remember we was in the studio, right? And how uh, youngster uh, knocking pictures out the wall. He had a damn blunt just soaking in a thing, just soaking. And you know, uh, they were smoking some weed. Hawk would tell me like, "Man, don't ever smoke with none of these cats." You know, and he kept it always one hundred. He like, bro, they be smoking wet. You know what I'm saying? He like, you know, you don't know nothing about all that, so don't ever smoke with nobody. And I ain't gonna lie, from that day on, though, bro, I really don't. Even, if I don't roll it up or see somebody roll it up, I really don't even smoke with nobody. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Because that's that's the situation from Hawk. Hawk taught me that so long ago that, like, bro, them boys was on that wet, bro, that PCP had boys wigging out. Right. That was that shit back in the day, too. Yeah. Niggas used to get on that shit. You know, some of them still yeah. just smoke yeah. it. Right now, to this day, a lot of people smoking it. You know what, what I'm saying? Used to wig out. I know a whole bunch of niggas used to wig out on that shit. On that wet, bro. Got naked and shit. Dipping their cigarettes. For real, <laughs> bro. That's what they, when they get out on that shirt, nigga, get naked. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. 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 Was, hey, I, you know, you young, bro, but people were killing their own home boys because they thought they were their enemies after they got to smoking that stuff. Girl, yeah. Damn. Yeah, man. Man, Sherm was a motherfucker. Yeah, bro. Sherm motherfucker. Man, you been in the music business for a while and the game that changed. Like, was it harder back in the day to drop a CD? Hell 
yeah. Cause like I looked up, I'm nigga, I'm looking at some shit, and I remember like. Nigga, I seen pen and pixel on the did the graphics and Bro, shit. Bro, and like, you know them them graphics suck, and we paid ten thousand dollars for them to make that cover God and to uh, press up a thousand CDs. We had, you had to really have money. It was ten thousand dollars just for that, bro. Well, look at that shit. That shit crazy. Ten thousand dollars to you can do that shit on your own computer <laughs> right now. Yeah, that's but crazy. I, I, I tell anybody, man, I feel like it was a uh, it's way easier now. The reason and the reason I say that because we really had to get out here and touch people's hands. Like yeah. you, you didn't. If you, if you got a name back in, in the day when we was coming up, bro, which we did, end up getting a name. You was a real ultimate hustle because you had to hand to hand these people. Right. You know what I'm saying? If people fuck with you, you, you really was a grinder. You know what I'm saying? Now you can get on there, go viral, and never leave your fucking house. Right. You know what I'm saying? And niggas blow up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, f I feel like if I was taking this. If I was taking it serious now, like, you know, I'm on my way out. So I got my own artist. I just, now I just do music just for the hell of it. This really my first album since I've been home from the feds. And then people, I didn't even want to drop this project. Everybody was like, man, you should just go on and drop it, go on drop it, because you still got, because, you know, they look at my streams. Mm -hmm. I still get a bunch of streams every month. You know what I'm saying? So they like, man, you still got a fan base out there, so you should drop. So I like, all right, I, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I end up getting a distribution deal with uh, Empire. Right. So... I'm more focused on my on my artist than I am on myself at this point because I'm on my way out. But if what I'm what I got uh, as an artist, if it would help my artist, I do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and that's the only reason that because I do got a lot of connections, you know, and and hopefully we'll be able to put a tour together off of this and keep it going once again. Because I mean, man, I ain't gonna lie, man, I kind of been lazy since I've been back. Like I said, the internet game will make you lazy, right. man. Yeah, and, and, and I feel like even even still. You know, like I've I been in the era with the internet and I still would do the internet and I still would get in the streets right. with it. At the same time, that makes it better. But lately I just been like, ah, I'ma just pay for some bloggers, pay this and pay that and don't move around like I should, which this time I'm trying to go and get up off my ass and get to it. You but know what shit, I'm saying? Yeah, like that, nigga don't know. Like nigga, coming up, nigga, I remember like nigga, to have your name out there, like nigga, the internet wasn't around, but to have your name out there on some real shit, nigga, you really had to put like work in. Like you had to put like some real street, especially if you a street artist, right. nigga, niggas had to know that nigga, oh, this nigga with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. for example, y'all nigga, nigga with the shit too now. Yeah, no, nah, I'm saying, I'm saying, <laughs> nah. I'm saying like back then, back then, like. Shit, I think y'all more realer than we were. We just sold drugs, y'all shoot niggas up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all niggas yeah. all right, man. Hey, they right. really, hey, them niggas, I just shot a nigga, and they just did that. They, went, oh, they just left, they just, <laughs> no, they just shot no. that nigga up and be like, you know what, you let me put some, let me, yeah, you got like, the same yeah, yeah, in the oh, studio. Let me go, let me go book some time right now and tell these niggas how I just shot that nigga block up. Bro, and it's crazy because see, I had an older homeboy, uh, Bobby T, and nigga like, I'm a young nigga, so nigga Bobby T probably, he, at the, if he was still alive, he'd probably be like 40 something, but nigga Bobby T from Fort City, small ass town, nigga, we went to Memphis, Bill Street, nigga. Why everybody on that motherfucker knew this man? Yeah. You nigga, you from Fort City, nigga, down there, all these big head niggas with good nigga money, chain, but they like, Bobby T, Bobby T, and he know everybody. So it's like, damn, nigga, you didn't, you been out here shaking and baking. So it's just like that. Like y'all generation had to really like Master P. Shit. He didn't he didn't blow up in New Orleans. That nigga took his shit all the way to Cali and just been moving. You know what I'm saying? Really just put his move down. So it's like shit, y'all, like you say, nigga, that internet shit will make you lazy. Cause yeah, nigga ain't, but at the same time, like nigga, we probably think this shit hard. Cause even though we do all the promoting and all this shit, right. man, I'll be like, damn, DB, we gotta hire somebody for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and get like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but... Did I post something on this page? Or shit, damn, did I post something on that? Shit do yeah. be hard. No, me. Man, uh, your label and your artists. What you got on your label, man? I mean, you know, my, um, Papa Hussein out of Homer, Louisiana. He had that uh, the hit song, I'm Lit. Got over three point some million views on that. Um, Papa, Papa, got, Papa got some shit. We got one in the cut with uh, DJ Luke Nasty and Papa Hussein yeah. that we gonna put out. And you know, my boy Luke Nasty just went platinum off of one of his songs. So we we we, we looking to. Looking to make that song that me, him, and Papa Hussein got go 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 platinum too. Cause the song, bro, like I'm gonna let y'all hear it before I leave today. Yeah. But man, that song right there, 
we we tap it in. Well, that's the one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Luke Nasty from uh, Florida, ain't he? No, nah, Luke Nasty from uh, Ashton from Carolina in the okay, Carolinas. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, a, uh, that I'm on the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. He be remixing a whole bunch of motherfuckers. Yeah, he get on down. He the remake king. He get on down too. And uh, you know, I got my boy Soda Man, Kid B. You know what I'm saying? He changed the name to Soda Man. The OAMP group that I started out with. Uh, shout out to Wayne D. Uh, but Wayne not signed to me, but shout out to Wayne D. Uh, but I got Soda Man, and he got a, a project he he working on with Savage Hearted too. And he's on my lead singer that's coming out uh, actually this Thursday. Uh, know that, you know what I'm saying? And you see the Know That hats. Come on with you know child. what I'm saying? Nah, nah, I've been really saying Know That for so many years. Forever. Everybody be like, man, you know what me? You should make that into some kind of apparel or something. And then, you know, I just put it on the hats. I had some shirts too, but they was really just made for me. But I, I done, man, I sold out of so many hats so many times. I brought these for y'all though. Oh you know, I appreciate but, it. But we, uh, we, we got a song with the video and everything called Know That is dropping this week. Um, G Money out of my hometown, El Dorado. Uh, I got him on there. And King Dollar. King Dollar from up here yeah. in Little Rock. So I kind of tried to spread it out. You know, I got a little artist. I got an artist from my hometown. I got an artist from Little Rock. And, you know, I went with King Dollar because King Do Dollar, he been around me for a long time as well. He a loyal dude. The strip you, club You know King. what I'm saying? He a strip club. And, you know, the artist that I got, man, no bullshit, I tell people this all the time. I like to get artists that I can go in the club with and they got to worry about making sure that I got my homeboys too with me with these scraps. Because the type of music that they making, it don't bring that type of energy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I sure. tell everybody the energy that you put into these songs, the energy that you put out into the world is the energy you're going to receive. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because the thing about it is this. If you keep on talking to that shit, motherfucker want to see if you really about that. Somebody you know what I'm saying? Somebody's going to test you. Somebody want to see how right, you now talk you all this shit on these records. Let's see. You know what I'm saying? So I talk about a whole bunch of uh, drug selling, and they they tested me in the feds case. <laughs> So, uh, I, <laughs> so hey, that, that's, that's, really, right. that's, that's what it is. You know what I'm no saying? Doubt. So that's that's the type of energy that you put out in the world. That's the type of energy you gonna get back. How was it working with uh, Mo Three? You got a record with Mo Three, don't you? Yeah, I got a record with Mo Three. Is on a new project. It's called Four Hundred Degrees. Uh, actually, I didn't work with him. I, I just made a phone call. I was on house arrest at the time. I actually. Uh, we was looking at a lot of Mo3 records. I really wasn't a big Mo3 fan when I before I left. Yeah. So, but you know, being in jail at twelve o'clock, we uh go into the TV room. You know, we get everybody got the thumb drive. You're not supposed to have them, but we go in there and we watch the videos on the big TV. And we, they, you know, I was in Texas. I was in a Texas uh federal prison. Mm -hmm. So. We they they bug. I'm like damn, Mo three Ashley hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, like bro, hard. So yeah. when I came home, I was the song had like a Louisiana bounce feel to it, the beat. So I'm like, man, I'm either gonna get Fred Bay or I'm gonna go with Mo three. Those were the options that I had, and. I was reaching out to Fred O'Bain, but they they never really got back to me. And then they did hit me back, and it was like, I'm like, damn, the project, his project was coming out like a week, or, like a week or so before we was about to get ready to negotiate how much the uh, price yeah. was. And I already know how artists is when they get ready to drop a project, they want to boost the price up on everything. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go on, go with Mo Three because he was, it was reasonable. And uh, I reached out to Rainwater, and Rainwater made it happen. And I was I was on him because I kept seeing that they were saying that his um he was going to stop. Uh, doing features on October the 3rd or the 4th in 2020, I think. Mm -hmm. And he had posted it. Both three posted that he was for to stop doing features and this and that. And I had already paid. And I'm like, hey, Rain, man, what's up, man? I'm seeing Mo3 saying that he ain't for to be doing no features. And I'm like, hey, bro, I need, money, I, 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 like, I need to see what's up. You know what I'm saying? You told me you're going to get it to Oh, man, don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get it to you. Bro, don't you know he got it back to me within like a week or two? Yeah. And then like a week or two later, like, Later, bro got killed. You know what Damn, I'm saying? Bro. And I, you know, I was on house arrest, so I wasn't able to drop the record. Wow. So um I just I just held on to it till I was able to kind of move around and do what I wanted to do with you with it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I didn't want to drop it and I wasn't able to kind of benefit off of the shows and all that. If you know, off of the song. Yeah. Which sure. they were playing the song on like 
12 stations, but we pulled it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the song was starting to get get out there, and I wasn't out there. And I was right. like, hey, man, we're going to have to just pull the record. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking they playing them in the clubs in Dallas. They playing it everywhere, but we ended up pulling the record. But I'm going to put it back out there. But it's on the project, right. but I'm going to have to redo all that promo over again. Well. Man, I gotta now that you speak on the feature, man, I gotta ask you, because I heard this shit yesterday. And I just it's like no knock to the situation, but I just wanna know how you feel about rappers pre writing verses and sending them like that. Pre writing verses? Like say I say nigga rapper, motherfucker, like uh just say Mo three, say I already got a I, I got a verse. You can buy the verse that I already got. Hey, would you buy it? Uh, shit, it all depends. It, it depends on if it go with my song. You right. know what I'm saying? Now, if I if if we in there, I I rather you not tell me that. If right, you got right. if you got it wrote in your phone or whatever, just go in there and lay the motherfucker. No, nah, no, I'm talking about a verse, all just a verse already with the beat and everything. Oh, I mean, if you want to use it, you'll be a fool to buy it anyway because you need to talk to the person who made the beat and everything. Everything got to be lined up. You know what I'm saying? And it need to be paperwork. Yeah. I, I don't Man, I'm going I'm to tell you some real shit. Like, I, I learned some lessons about a lot of um, the hard way, actually. I done paid these people. And then I got some songs I can't even really release with the names on it because I didn't get the proper paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Because um, now they names are trademarked. Right. When I when I did those songs, I was able to release them. Like, I, I couldn't re-release the She Ain't Right record with me and, Key and Kevin Gates if I wanted to with his name on it. I couldn't re-release it. Right. If I did, I would have to use my old, uh, my old UPC code because, you know, I was on the road with Kevin Gates and I was booking shows for him. And so, you know, we was we just was just doing you know, stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just, so yeah. I, I never did be like, ah, oh, bro, I need you to sign this paper. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. and, and now it, it's so like if you try to upload certain songs to Distro Kid, any of them, they'll tell you that, you know, you had to send the proper paperwork in to put it out. And you you might have had that record for a long time. You know right. what I'm saying? And I know a bunch of people who got records with other artists that can't use the name. Right. And then those artists, some of them are still alive and they, they ain't finna sign off on that now. Like, fuck it. Yeah. I got mine already. Yeah, already nigga, you know, you know, I, fuck I, you I ain't finna do that. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I just thought that, I, I felt like that shit was kind of like cheating yourself because you just- Yeah, no, I, I, I wouldn't them. do that if I'm finna pay you for a record. I'm not finna, the only way I do that is you damn near gave me this record. I'm Man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. For I, sure. I, ain't do, I ain't doing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't want, I don't want the beat because, I mean, well, I come with taking people beat sometimes. You know what I'm saying? With an artist, my main artist on there too. Like, psh, nah, you don't want to do that. All right. Yeah. You had a, uh, a pretty strong campaign going with the She Ain't Right and all the other music. Do you think going to the feds that slowed you down? I mean, it, it it slowed me down, but it opened up my eyes too at the same time. But it opened up my eyes to my other businesses. I have multiple businesses that I wasn't focused on before I left. Yeah. You know, I got a trucking company. Yeah, uh, the salon. trucking company. I got everything, and, and and the crazy thing about it, I been I had I had so many trucks. A lot of them would just sit up, right? And I wasn't focused on it. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit. I came home and was on house arrest, and off of one truck, I made over three hundred thousand, and I got a few multiple trucks, right? And I, and I'm like, man, I'm sitting here. Uh, you know, when you sit down and you actually think, you like, man, I was tripping this whole time. I could have been doing this, this, and that. And you know, you know, you might could have kept hustling too, but if you really would have been not so far deep in the streets, you would have, you probably wouldn't have got caught up because your right. businesses would have took up a lot of your time as well, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that, 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 I mean, I ain't gonna lie, the only thing bad that happened to me about going to sit down, like I said, I lost my mom while I was gone. And uh, Freak got killed too. Yeah, Freak yeah. got killed the day before my mama. Yeah. Uh, Freak, my mom died on the 24th of February. Freak got killed on the I think Free got killed on the 24th. My mom died on the 25th. Yeah. But either way, he died on a died on a Sunday. My mom died on that Monday, right back to back to back. Like I, I was like, man. Yeah. And then you know they tell you you get to go home for anybody in your PSI funeral. They didn't let me go home. Yeah. And I was only 60 miles from my hometown. Yeah. They, they didn't let me make it. Well, they was just bullshitting around, fucking yeah. around with you. Yeah. They told me. They told me straight up. They, all right, you ain't going. 
Damn. <laughs> hey, straight up. Damn. There ain't nothing you can do. You know what I'm saying? You know, but uh, my old lady, she tried her best to pull all the strings she could to get me home, but at the end, it still didn't work out. Yeah. See, a lot of people don't know, like, you got, like you said, you got multiple businesses. So, she, yeah. and motherfucker be like, damn, you know, shit, how you pay for all this shit? Like, shit, that nigga ride D, you know, whatever shit. Like, I know you a hustler. Yeah, yeah, you know, nah. Since I, I met you, you know, you been a hustler. Even, shit, way back then, I knew you had trucks and shit. Yeah, so, but shit. you know, a lot of stuff, I, I like, I like the uh, people mind to wonder. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you can think you uh, go just rap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep thinking that. Uh, that shit, that yeah. shit costs. That's what's up, You know man. what I'm saying? It, it, it definitely costs. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to get something going. You have to get a hustle going, a scam going. Yeah. Get just businesses going. You got to get something going. Because that rap ain't going to pay you off to the long run. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? Shit. When you moved up here, you from El Dorado. Right. Did Lil Rock like fuck with you straight off the bat? Man, Lil like... Rock been fucking me from day one. Yeah. I been I used to fuck with official one back in the day. Yeah. I used to be with Ball Jones then. You know what I'm saying? Me and Ice Smiles, Ice Smiles was my dog. Me and Ice was all over this motherfucker. Like I, I got in early down here. Right. With up here, excuse me. Up here and um I was I was with some of the hottest artists in uh, in the city back then. You know what I'm saying? I was messing with Fisher One. I was messing with Playboy Shane back then. You know what I'm saying? Playboy Shane, uh, his CEO. They I was coming down there to the country doing shows. You know what I'm saying? I was doing shows, so I'm messing with all the artists up here and bringing them down there because people were not on them down there. Right. I'm like, hey man, y'all need to come down here too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause so nobody really know. was shit putting niggas on down there. Yeah, really, yeah, shit. putting them, you know, putting them in like, position. Yeah, on, but you know, yeah, shit. putting their music out. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I would take their music and go down there and push it like it's mine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I also was on the radio. I was on the radio. I was a, a DJ on the radio for what five years? I was on 104.5 down in Camden. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I had my own show me and my partner young d it, it was called the d boys and we would play all uh we would play a bunch of mainstream music but we would also play a lot of the local artists too right. in arkansas right 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 oh, well shit. i love them women down like down y'all part boy oh, yeah. the radio county man. Boy, I love them all, boy. if you're you flowing they going <laughs> <laughs> i can't wait to be a rapper no. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man. Yeah, man. Rod D, man. We appreciate you, man. Stop it by fucking man, with us, bro. Most yes, definitely, man. Most definitely. Tell the people your social media, man. I know you got an album coming out, man. Oh, man. Promote that motherfucker. Follow me on uh, Instagram, R O D underscore S M G. R O D underscore D underscore S M G. So it's Rod D. SMG, you know what I'm saying? And also, you can follow my uh, label page, Smart Moves Entertainment. It's Smart Moves underscore ENT on uh, Instagram. Uh, make sure y'all go get that new Papa Hussein Soda Man uh, EP is out right now. It's called Epitome. My album dropping this Friday, Thursday night, 11 o'clock, The Return of the Boss. Know that. Already, man. Well, like we always say, man. It's always a treat when players meet. Come on. Know that. Blood in with the mob. Bloody young niggas at large. Why not see my young niggas in charge? Why you in G? That's a life way of dead at a highway. You play and you probably see stars. Well, I probably see bars. Shots at the top and ass shit for a start. Put that bitch on the lick with a brick of that oil. Watch it whipping that joy and see that old life on.